Hi, it's Anthony Marizzi from Favorites Club here just to answer a few questions on what Favorites Club is all about and to see if you think this would help your business because that's the whole point here. So, let's get to it. Now to start, I'd like you to take a few minutes when you won't be interrupted. I don't know how long this video is right now, but I think it'll work out to be four or five minutes anyway. So if your bottom line's worth a few minutes of your time, great. If now it's not the time, you can, you can always come back later to watch this. I guarantee it'll be worth it for you. Okay, now that, the, now that we'll both be here for the next few minutes, I'd like you to try something. Imagine your business from your customer's point of view. They come into your place of business, whether it's a store or a restaurant, a salon or a garage or an office, and they get the same good service that you've always provided, right? I mean, nine times out of ten, they go away satisfied. Some of them even go away happy. Now, that's not a comment on your customer service. It's, it's a statistical average. You know, if you're doing better than that, congratulations, that's great. But if it's okay with you, let's use those numbers for our discussion here, okay? Here's the thing about the 90% of customers who go away satisfied. You know, they're not necessarily your raving fans, are they? I mean, they like you or what your business does for them, sure, but typically they're not locked into dealing with you. If a similar deal or a, a similar product showed up in front of them, they'd probably be just as happy buying that one. So, what you want to do is develop a relationship with your customers, even deeper than the one you already have. Think of anyone you talk with or buy stuff from or deal with on a regular basis, and it's probably the same. It's probably the relationship that keeps you coming back. That's the difference that makes the difference, right? It's like this example. Maybe you know this one. They say the toughest thing to do with a restaurant is to choose its location if you're the first one in the area. You've got to do all kinds of market research and customer traffic surveys and demographic studies and blah, I don't even want to think about all that. But when that restaurant becomes successful, have you ever noticed what happens soon afterwards? Well, another restaurant shows up right near it. That's because the first restaurant has already proven that there's a market demand. So when a second one shows up, the customer's choice is altered. It's not, do we want to go out to eat? It's now, which place do we want to go to? And when that happens, how would you make the choice? Well, most people would go to the restaurant that they feel better about because of the atmosphere, because of the experience they have when they go there, the people there, and based on how they feel about the place in other ways too. So the choice is based on the relationship they have. And that's a relationship, by the way, that the business owner has to take responsibility for creating and managing it on an ongoing basis. Because, you know, all other things being equal, the, the business that they've been in touch with recently and had a good experience with is the choice they'll make again. Does that sound reasonable? I mean, I mean, don't just take my word for it here. Is that how you choose who to deal with? And just as important, is that how your customers feel about choosing your business on an ongoing basis? And how are you managing that relationship to make sure that you're in, you know, in their front of mind when they think of what it is that your business offers? I was speaking with a business owner a few days ago who told me his biggest business mistake over the past eight years was not staying in touch with his customers. That's because, you know, by counting on them to remember the good job he did for them and waiting for them to call again, he only heard from about 10% of his past clients again. That means 90% of them were lost to him. So he was thinking of putting together a mailing to reach out to about 600 past clients and he recognized how much work that was to do and the hefty cost of sending out by mail. Besides that, he, he knows that it would take repeated contacts to introduce himself or to, you know, to reintroduce, reintroduce himself to them because most of those clients hadn't spoken with him in years. So it's a lot easier to continue an ongoing conversation, wouldn't you say, than to start up a whole new one anyway. So here's how Favorites Club helps you do that. First, you, you get your Favorites Club website set up so you have a place to send your customers to take a look. If you're not already online and you know you need to be, you can set up with a clean, colorful layout that identifies the three most important things that your customers want to know. And that's, first of all, what they can get from you, because, yeah, that's their first concern, your offer, and why is it valuable to them. Second, who you are, you know, things like your company name, so they know if it's someone they recognize, someone they trust. And third, what do they have to do to take you up on your offer? You know, your contact info, maybe a map, maybe a phone number, things like that. So they can follow up and take the deal you're offering them. So that's where it starts. From there, as part of your Favorites Club site, 
your customers can download a coupon that gives them an instant discount on the next purchase. And that's for a promotional item that you've arranged beforehand. But don't worry, we'll help you choose what to put there, as well as a strategy for the next three to six months or more. And here's the big labor-saving benefit number one for you. <laughs> yeah, I joke about that, but it really is, because we create your coupons for you. We upload them to your site. We make them instantly downloadable for your clients. And we automatically update them for you. Well, you know, an actual person does the update, so you can always change the order or substitute a different offer as you go along. Like if you find something that's really popular, you want to continue it for another month, or you want to combine it with another offer, something like that. The key here is you can always keep your site and your offer fresh and new. In fact, it happens pretty well and pretty automatically, so there's always a reason for your clients to come back. That's rule number one in marketing, isn't it? Keep it fresh, keep it cool, keep it interesting. In fact, we've built in a way for you to remind them to come back and check for your new specials because after they've seen one or two, I'll tell you, once they've used their coupons to save money, they'll recognize the value and if you're a business that's local to them, that they can deal with easily, well, you're just giving them more reason to like you. Here's how it goes. You think of it like those preferred customer things with, uh, you know, with airlines and hardware stores and coffee shops. Only you don't have to set up all of the swipe card stuff or anything. People like collecting those, right? I mean, the points or their, their, their value. So, you know, a lot of them do just that. So you make it easy for them to keep tabs on what you're offering. Here's how. We put together a Favorites Club business card for you. You know, it's got your URL on it. It's something you give to everyone who buys something from you. It's just like a regular card. It's not one of those swipe cards or anything. So you include it with their change or with their invoice or receipt, stuff you're doing anyway. And it directs them to your Favorites Club site to get a preferred client web-only special that saves them money. Now, that's not a lot of work for you as it is, right? Since you're already giving them their change or their receipt or whatever it is. But while we're at it, let's make it even easier for you and more consistent too and automatic. That's the point. When they go to your site, there's a place for your customers to sign up for instant notification when there's a new promotion for you, for them to check out. To get them interested enough to sign up, you offer them a new member coupon for an instant 20% off any purchase with you. Or, you know, it can be 10% or 15%, whatever makes it a significant savings for your customers. And so that it doesn't break the bank for you. Obviously, if you're selling homes or jet airplanes or something, 20% is a huge whack of cash. So we'll both pick something that fits your business as well. Now, here's big advantage number two for you. You're spending very little on a per-purchase basis to give your customers this new member sign-up discount. Like on a $20 purchase, you're giving them, what, $4? That's not huge, right? But here's the thing. The huge value for you is that you just got a customer to sign up and agree to receive your promo messages. Ongoing. All the time. And since you'll have a new promo on your site every month, that means your customers hear from you at least once or twice each month of us saving money by dealing with you. Think that'll keep you at the top of their mind? Well, yeah, in a good way, too. Because it's good news to them. It's someone they can deal with easily. And they already know who you are. They already know they trust you. And they already know where to find you. So for a cost of acquisition, that's what we call that. The cost of acquisition here is tiny. You've got someone else to market to on an ongoing basis. We'll put that customer's name and email address into something called an autoresponder. Don't know if you've heard of those, but it sends out a quick note to them more consistently than trying to remember to call or send flyers out. And it's a lot cheaper, too. So you can choose to use an even better tool with Favorites Club. Yeah, yeah, it keeps getting better, right? Because instead of just sending a promo message out twice a month, you can include a newsletter instead. Okay, it's on topics of interest to your customers, and it's about your industry or specialty, something you decide that's relevant. Oh, and here's big advantage number three for you. You knew it was coming, right? Sure. We prepare your newsletter for you. It's written, it's typeset, it's formatted with colors and graphics that match your favorites club site. Okay, we'll put in a picture or two as well and take care of any licensing or copyright stuff on those pictures. So the articles are written and edited by a native English speaking writer and I review every one of them 